ba 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 Finding the name of the achievement Cause I'm a f idiot And I don't know the name Swear it's my first time Hey what's going on guys it's me Morvy and I'm back again with another achievement guide This time we're going for I swear it's not my first time on the messenger for this achievement, we're going to have to get through the dark cave without getting the candle from... Who? Who the fuck gave us the candle? Ah, yes, uh, the old sensei guy gave us it. Um, this time we're not going to bother going to him, we're just going to go straight to the dark cave. Um, this means we're going to have to go through the dark caves without any light source, so the screen is going to be completely pitch black. But if you follow my guide, uh, we're going to get through it no problem at all. Before we jump into the guide, guys, make sure you hit that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. But let's get to why we all come here, and let's get that achievement. To begin with, we can't rush to the dark cave. I did try this myself by starting the new game and rushing through to the catacombs, but once I got there, I found out to enter the dark caves, you need the ability to time travel to remove some of the rocks in the path. So sadly, if you picked up the candle on your first playthrough, you're going to have to start again. Start a new campaign and push through. Once you get the ability to time travel, you still will need to push through a couple levels of the game before you get the ability to return to the Tower of Time as a hub. This is the spot you need to get to to be able to get this achievement. If you're super quick and confident running this game, it should take you just around an hour to get to the hub, although it might take you a little bit more if you're not very familiar with the bosses. But yeah, it shouldn't take you like around an hour if you're if you're bad at the game, an hour and a half, two hours. But like, it's not too bad to get back up to this point. Once we get here though, stop right there. Rather than pushing on, collecting the items required into the campaign, Campaign. We're going to ignore them completely and instead make our way to the Autumn Hills. This is the nearest portal to the entrance of the Dark Cave. Push on like I'm doing now, following the path that I'm taking, and we're going to make our way to the Catacombs. Push on through the Catacombs, taking either of the paths in there. As you can see, I took the lower path. And now all you need to do is follow me and I'll take you to the entrance of the Dark Cave. Don't worry, there is only seven screens we need to get through. The quickest way to get there is just ignore the enemies on this level and just keep pushing forward. I did speed up this section a little bit as I didn't want the whole video to be the journey towards the dark cave. And for the most part, there's only a few enemies you've just got to dodge, so it's not that difficult. Keep on pushing through the dark cave until we get to our second save point of the level, this bit right here. From here, it's a pretty straightforward path to the entrance. Kill the little red fire guy and kill this bat, making our way across this spiky gap. Make sure that little skeleton doesn't eat your face along the way. Now we'll make our way down this gap here, knocking this wall down. Uh, make sure you don't get hit by the spikes as these seem to be like the biggest enemy in this game, like they do the most damage. They are also the reason why I failed a couple attempts at doing the no death achievement but we'll get into that on another video. Okay, skip that wall bit there. Use the speedy swim so you don't get splatted. And now we're here. We have been here previously, as I said earlier, but more than likely you didn't notice the entrance as it's blocked. All we need to do to move the rocks away is move on to the next screen and the portal will be waiting for us. Jump through it and now backtrack to the previous screen and break down the wall. From here, it's an easy swim to the dark cave's entrance. And we are now at the entrance to the dark cave. I got this clip here of me running the dark cave with the candle just to show you guys what we're going to have to traverse through this place. I also thought it would be a little easier for you to see what you're actually having to do as opposed to just uh, watching my dark screen in a little bit. So we begin here at the door. This is the map to the dark cave. As you can see, it's just one straight path to the end. So it's not that long. To begin, we're going to drop over the left hand side and just as we're falling, we're going to use our grappling hook on this circle here and it will pull us onto the next screen. 
Then we're going to make our way forward until we see these spikes on the wall. We're going to climb over them. Next, we're going to glide over this set of spikes, use our hook, and then use our hook again to get to this wall. We're going to get over this ledge here, letting it fall down, and we're going to push on forward. Now that there's an airstream, we're going to fly up, dodging both sets of spikes so they don't murder us. Keep on pushing through until we get to this next airstream. And now this is where the dark cave can get a little bit tricky. So keep your eyes peeled for this bit. What we're going to do is jump to this lamp here and hit it, and then jump to the next lamp and hit that one. Keep on pushing forward using the lamps to get over the holes until we hit this portal here. Keep using the lamp to traverse over this hole until we get to the safe spot here. And now what we need to do is jump into the darkness and there will be a blue trampoline in the middle of the hole. Use this and then glide over to the end of the screen. We are very close to the end now. From this screen, run down the ledges here and they will break. Okay, this door is locked by a gem, so we now have to go and find it. If you backtrack a little bit and then climb up to this wall here, you'll find it hidden in this set of corridors. The easiest way I've found to do this is to stand on the edge, throw a shuriken, and start running. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to be super fast for this one. This gem just opens the door. We don't have to do it within a certain time limit. Once the door is open, jump through this doorway and we've got to the Riviere Turquoise. By getting through the dark cave for the first time, this will pop an achievement, but this is not the one we are after. Now that you've seen the path to the dark cave, we can do it without the candle. Okay, let's do this. Let's get through that door and let's start getting through this dark cave. So if you remember, what we're going to do to start with is drop to the left and use our grappling hook. This will drag us onto the next screen. From here, we want to push forward just a little bit and then start climbing the wall. But then jump to the left and you'll land on the ledge. From this ledge, remember, you've got to jump and glide as there are spikes below you. And once you've like got down the screen just a little bit, we're going to use our grappling hook, climb to the top of the wall and then walk to the left. As you hit the floor, you'll notice to the left there is a bit of rock that is next to you that you're going to stand on. These rocks will show you where the airstreams are and this is very important. So line yourself up into the centre of this rock here and you'll dodge both sets of spikes. Once you're at the top, we're going to walk to the left again until we can't anymore and the ledge will fall again. As soon as you hit the ground, start running left and you'll get into your second airstream. Now if you remember, this is the bit where it starts getting a little bit tricky. Get to the top of this airstream and we're going to have to hit three lights to get over the first hole. As you notice, I'm jumping up and down because the edge of this path here there is a lot more gap above us. So once my character is able to jump up higher, I know that I'm near the edge, just like that. If you miss the hook, don't worry. If you glide to the right of the screen, there is a little ledge that may save you and you can get back to the second airstream and try again. Again, test that ledge so you make sure you're at the end of it. Now, I was quite lucky here. From what I understood, I hooked the first light and then I glid and then double jumped onto the wall that is underneath the portal. I know that's not what I did in the first clip with the candle, but if it works, it works. So I would suggest hitting that first light and then gliding all the way over to the portal and then keep using your hook as you're going to hit the ledge below the portal. Now, after you go through the portal, there'll be the first ledge, the second ledge, and then there will be two lights. So what we're going to do, we're going to do two little tap jumps past the portal. And then on our second jump, we're going to hook into the air and we're going to then hook the second time to get the second light and then we'll land on the ledge. Once you get to the second ledge, do what I did here is jump as far as you can and then just keep gliding. You will hit the ledge. I know there are two lights that we should have hit to get over this gap, but uh, it's a lot easier just to glide as opposed to hit something that we cannot see. Then once we're on this ledge here, we have one light ahead of us. We're gonna hit that and then we're gonna glide as far as we can. Remember, there is the blue trampoline that we're gonna have to hit for this jump jump on that, bounce to the top, and then glide to the end. Now we have one more screen left. If you remember, this screen is really easy. All we have to do is run down the ledges, letting them fall. We now have to hit that gem. So as you're going down the ledges, keep on jumping forward, and eventually you'll grab onto the wall, and you'll know you're in the right position. From there, climb to the top of the wall, jump off using your grappling hook to grab the opposite ledge, and then climb up. Now keep making your way left, keep jumping up over the ledges until we get to the end. Tap that gem, and then we're going to do a runner for that doorway. Uh, again, there is no time limit for the doorway. I know it makes out that it has got a time limit, but um, yeah. Just make your way back there and it will be open for you. And then we'll get our achievement. I swear it's my first time.
Oh, and don't worry, we can all tell our friends that, don't worry, it was our first time. Because we're pro. And that is the end of my achievement guide. Thank you so much guys for watching this. If I helped you out at all, please let me know down in the comments. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. But until next time guys, I have been Morvi and I'll see you later. Peace.